It's an electric off-road wheelchair. That's incredible. Today is a big day. We have our friends Zach and Cambry coming down to show us one of the coolest projects that Zach's worked on. It has to do with electric bikes. We have some electric bikes right now. A Super 73 bike that both my sisters got for the Christmas present. One of them works and it charges up and this other one over here, it's dead and it is yeah. just dead and we just got it for Christmas. It shows that it's working, but it doesn't. And then we have rad power bikes and then we also have my mountain bike. That one is not electric. And then we also have this Razor scooter right here, which is London's, and she rides this around with her friends. Boosted boards, these are my, these are my favorites. Two boosted boards. Even though they're out of business. Oh, that's sad. So sad, I, I really was gonna buy some more too. The boosted boards are great. Um, Lincoln Road with Casey Neistat in New York City with those way back in the day. How does this differ from boosted boarding in Utah? There's no cars anywhere in Utah, that's the difference. <laughs> When he was just a little guy, and then I wrecked Casey Neistat's into the Hudson River. What did you do? <laughs> that was not smart. Casey was actually kind of happy because it made the video better. But there's one thing that we don't have, and it's an electric off-road wheelchair. So Zach and Cambry are coming here right now. It is the mega electric bike, the coolest electric bike you've ever seen. They should be here any minute. All right, Zach and Cambry are here. Cambry, Zach, let's see this bike. All right. <laughs> oh. All red. Oh my gosh. Yep. It, I'm surprised it fits in the back of your little truck. It's such a tiny truck. It was very specifically, what little truck? <laughs> little truck. <laughs> it was very specifically designed for that. So like anyone could just close the tailgate and not worry about strapping it down. That's smart. Stuff. Did you test it out and measure it and say, it has to fit in my Tacoma? Exactly. Cause, Cause that's exactly most right. Most short bed trucks are this exact length. So it's uh, a little truck. Most short bed trucks. Lincoln, don't don't anger him too much, okay? He's got muscles. I mean, this is way bigger than my truck. <laughs> Dang, that thing is cool. It looks so heavy duty. Oh, it's upside down. These need to go on the bottom. We do. There we go. Bumper is in. Okay, this is so cool. Handlebars. There's the actual controls right there and voila all right cambry what is the fastest you've gone on one of these i think i've gone like 20 miles an hour whoa I think. downhill yeah downhill so with one battery the range is going to be anywhere from 15 to 20 miles whoa. and the top speed on the production version is going to be 12 miles an hour lincoln do you want to do the first ride yes okay when you're going it's, oh yeah. As soon as you touch this, it's gonna go forward. But right yeah. now you wanna do reverse. So hold this down and press the throttle and you'll go backwards. Oh, that's cool how you move this. That feels so cool. It looks like you're flying a helicopter. Keep on going. Oh, oh wow. That has some kick yeah, to it. It does. <laughs> you ready? That's bad! Oh. Lincoln's driving down the street. That actually looks really fast. They wanted to make sure that it's really, really fun, but also really safe. And what they found through their hours of testing That's is that fun. basically 12 miles an hour is the perfect speed for that. That's awesome. I love the feeling, because like most electric bikes, like you just steer at the steering wheel and it's like a bike. But this, that feels so cool. It seems like it's like a truck when you put it in four wheel drive and you turn the corner and it kind of, like, I don't know, rubs a little bit. Are all four wheels connected? Originally, we had the back wheels be independent from each other, but we found that we lose traction. So this has something called a locked rear axle or a solid rear axle, where the two tires can't spin independently of each other. And so you have traction all the time. Okay, that's cool. Look at the clearance on that bad boy. That's a lot of clearance under there. The thing that makes this like, accessible is that this steering wheel part, hand control thing can pop out and this can fold out of the way and you wow. can transfer from a wheelchair straight into the seat. I want to see you take a curb. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not so fast. It does have full suspension. It's really built for when your whole body is on here, when you go over some bumps, it can kind of take some of that impact. The controls are all up here, which is kind of cool from an accessibility standpoint. It has a battery pack back here. It looks just like the ones on our electric bikes that we have. It could also put one on the back potentially and take that range from 15 miles or 20 miles 
all the way up to 30 miles range. These points right here are four rack attachments. So we're gonna what? have one rack that sticks up that covers the tires. So you can put either a wheelchair, your golf clubs, or a cooler for camping. I want one. This is my friend Callahan. He has been a family friend for years and years. Nine years ago, he was riding a road bike and came across a cattle guard and it didn't have the right strip inside of it. The tire went down in it. He flipped over the handlebars. He broke. C4. 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 That's in your neck. Fourth vertebrae down. Fourth vertebrae down. For a while, were you able to walk or, or was there a time where you weren't able to stand like no, you are no, now? No. I didn't have anything from the neck down. I was a quadriplegic. I would say for the first three years, I had no idea that he had a traumatic experience in his life that made it difficult for him to walk. Um, he hides it very well. When he walks around, he gets it from the couch and we hung out. We did the amazing race together as a family for a couple of years. I never knew this. For somebody that's been through something before with their spine and their neck, it's probably something you don't wanna mess with again. This bike is what I feel one of the perfect fits for somebody like this. So we're gonna show him the bike that these guys made. And uh, Lincoln, are you in here? Yes. All right, there it is. Bring her on out. Here comes our bike. It's a beast. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's incredible. To go, obviously, is just this throttle button right here. Okay. And if you want to go in reverse, hold this down and press the throttle at the same time, and you'll go backwards. Yeah, he's at top speed already. Oh, that is so fun. <laughs> that is so fun. Yes. All right, you can operate it just fine. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> He's going fast. Guys, this is awesome. If he is riding in like a state park, or maybe even a national park, or on a trail, can he ride this and not get in big trouble by everybody? Yes. As long as he has a physical limitation that grants him access to a motorized accessory device. Okay, sort. so physical. you can ride this. Zach has tested that out and some people don't understand that and he's had to push back on some of the employees but after he talks to them about it, they've understood it. So you can stand your ground and know that this is an accessible vehicle for what you need and you can get around. With this rig, with this off-road wheelchair, it is not a finely tuned medical device, it's, it's a bike and a bike with four wheels, so. That happens to be accessible for individuals and chairs for the most part. Which is why we call it not, not a wheelchair. wheelchair. It's incredible to be able to go in, you know, and actually be in the dirt. He's pretty gutsy, like he was pushing it to the limits. Before Callahan takes it for good, he's gonna ride home like five miles. I wanna take it for a spin first. It's actually really comfortable. I feel like maybe I'm flying a helicopter. Three, two, one. I missed the button. If your brakes are on, it electronically kills the motor. <laughs> yep. That's smart. Three, two, one. Yeah! Okay, I gotta be honest here. When I was watching them ride it, it didn't look all that fast. But when you're on it, it is fast. Oh, yeah, he's going in. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Off-roading! <laughs> Up on the curb, no problem! There we go, down the curb! <laughs> Don't wreck it, it's not hard! <laughs> Gotta make sure it works before we give it to Callahan. It's passing the test so far. This thing is really fast, really fun. If you would like to get one of these for yourself or for somebody else, we'll put the information in the description below. Zach and Cambry, thank you for making this. Thank you for bringing it over and letting us give it to our friend Callahan. Callahan, be safe on it. It's still a mountain bike, yep. but have a blast. Yeah. See you guys. <laughs> See ya. And they're off into the sunset. It always feels good to help somebody out and to give them something that brings them joy. 
One of the things that brought him the most joy in his life was riding his street bike. This isn't a street bike. It's having some freedom of being able to go out and do something fun for enjoyment. I think that's a really special thing. I'll update you soon. Oh, and I oop. What little truck? <laughs> Get the boss. Never seen that. That's a lot of clearance under there.